Welcome to Old Guys on Bikes. Old Guys on Bikes presents Cambodia Day 10 Part 1. Yes, Part 1 because there's so much going on on Day 10. This is our second to last day. And it was epic. Didn't have Suzuki guy with us because he'd broken his leg. But he does come back and join us. So, Pramoy to Kokong, 175 Ks meant to be epic awesome day toby's built it up it's gonna be an awesome day riding through jungle but bit of a bit of a challenge for the skills but we start off on dirt roads and more dirt roads again and toby had adjusted his front forks so we've got mitchell up front uh, following toby and everyone decides to turn their cameras off at about this time and that's when the fun started and none of us caught it another egg oh. anything badly broken oh, let's see Did you get on camera no i didn't i wasn't recording oh. it's recording now oh. I, I thought he'd just turned off the track. Like that's where we're going in. I thought that's where we're going in. Saw those bumps and I was like, well, slowing down ain't going to help. Uh, I was just stuck with the rebound this morning. Yeah. Switched it the wrong bloody way. I was just thinking it. So talk us through it, Mitchell. Well, Nicholas, thank you for asking. I was uh, closely following the uh, school. And he's just slipped. He's back here on this. Yep. These are his fly marks, you can see. This is sideways coming from here. And then from here. Off into the bush. Uh -huh. And there, out again, <laughs> in and again. And about three tumbles. Oh, right. End over, end over, end. And that would be where I found the bike upside down and hung along on the ground. Straight into there. Straight through there. Ooh. Not good. Not pretty good. Wait, wait. <laughs> and action. Go. Well, judging by the yaw marks, this has come around here. Obviously, he had shit show chance of actually controlling it. And, yeah. Uh, and you see the tree, the mark of the tree, the debris as he's made entry oh. into the bush. Don't get a close up to the tree. It's it's a significant sign. This is the uh, mark on the tree where the backpack hit. Check out the spike. And uh, the patient was lying there, and his bike was there. And there's the branches that snap off as, as he's in. Yeah, I, I believe that may have flipped the bike upside oh. down. Yeah. yeah. I think, I think um, as a witness, witnesses aren't terribly reliable. <laughs> <laughs> I think his bike was already tumbling. Oh, he, uh, came through right. Okay. So, because the, bike, we... the bike did again up, up side down over there. Fantastic. And that's why we're taking contemporaneously <laughs> notes at the time. <laughs> Good. Any any input there, Tony? Uh, yeah, um, mad it wasn't me. Great. I think they should check his blood alcohol. Yeah, it's coming in. To assess our patient. Anyway, Mitchell's giving the uh, Tony to run through on uh, what exactly happened and where. Like just making sure the bike's okay. We've got a potential back injury here, so uh, I think we will be pulling in the chopper. Okay, so if you didn't work it out from there, Mitch doesn't have a very good uh, memory recall because how could Toby still be on the bike if he was cartwheeling and end up hitting that tree, but that's besides the point. Um, but uh, we stayed there for uh, two hours while we got uh, Toby uh, taken out and he was expecting to be picked up by a chopper. Unfortunately, he wasn't and uh, was stuck with a seven hour taxi ride back to Phong Pen. 
um, but luckily he had a scan and his back checked out all, all good uh, so that was Toby for the rest of the tour um, leaving us with Lux in charge and uh, Lux doesn't muck around when he gets in front uh, he was uh, under instructions not to take us on the jungle trail so uh, we end up on these roads here and lots of bridges as uh, you've already most probably noticed um, saying hi to the kids there so uh, we are on these roads the uh, four wheel drive wagon was following us um, as a sweeper seems uh, Lux was up front and not sweeping um, horrendous uh, amazing that the, that the uh, wagon got along with all of these um, and we're just stopping at the bottom here and Lux is telling us that we're going up this hill and he'll wait for us at the top because it's it's quite steep near the top so the others are caught up and here we go heading off a lot of us need to learn how to clean our cameras uh, fairly regularly on this day. Unfortunately, we're quite smoky, but uh, we will manage. So we're waiting at the top. Here comes Adam, and Yamaha guy's not far behind. And little bit of a debate there as to uh, the Yamaha guy and Adam not wanting to go in front of me and being filmed. It's okay, another one of these rickety bridges with dirty great big holes in them so you've got to be careful and let's uh, see Yamaha guy up that one, he's taking it nice and steady there. And back with one eyed Yamaha guy who's now riding the beater as you'll see. Um, executive decision made uh, when Toby came off was for uh, one eyed Yamaha guy to take over to beta hand his Yamaha to Yamaha guy and then Yamaha guy's Yamaha went back to um, to base to be picked up because it was uh, starting to overheat a little bit uh, so uh, that's uh, where we were at with those bikes. But we're back on the trail here, coming down into a village uh, on the edge of a man-made uh, hydroelectric lake. Just uh, flooded out the whole valley. Uh, and obviously cut off the road as well, so we're coming down here. Have a drink. And uh, Lux is going to come up and uh, use the horn on uh, my bike uh, just to uh, get the attention of the fairy. So here we go. Split view up onto our uh, fairy. Yes, I know it doesn't quite look like the other fairies we've been on. Yamaha guy, come on. Beautiful. What could go wrong? <laughs> this happens a lot with you at the back of the boat. We found ourselves <laughs> grounded at the back of the boat, so uh, we need a little bit of a push. A hook. Small arm. Not quite got <laughs> his uh, <laughs> sea legs yet. <laughs> Eventually off and away, and uh, here's uh, a house which uh, which just got flooded out by uh, by the lake being uh, created. But we're on the other side now, and we're all good. Adam, there's Yamaha guy, and we carry on back in here behind one eyed Yamaha guy around the, uh, the scooter and over another dodgy bridge. 
and we get to the end of the road to discover that this part's been flooded as well and we have to turn around and go back. But going back meant we got to get onto these dirt roads and these were fun. Uh, high speed up until we come across this bridge. We had to take it uh, a little, little slow. Better. That's why Toby crashed. <laughs> That's why. Why I don't do it? That's terrible handling. And as you heard there, uh, one eyed Yamaha guy just endorsing why Toby fell off because uh, he has adjusted his front forks and sure, they were crap. Um, and we're back onto these red dirt roads. Nice and narrow. So we're heading for a waterfall and then lunch and that will be the end of part one once we uh, have lunch and then after lunch more dirt short, roads short numbers now it's quite a nimble it's quite a nimble crew and more dirt roads as i was saying and then concrete narrow concrete roads but in the meantime we'll just fill up the bike using a watering can and we're back at it behind Lux here and he's not hanging around he was it was good he had a good pace on oh one eyed Yamaha guy still trying to get to grips with that two stroke beater didn't quite manage to get the front wheel off the ground what he was trying to do but uh there we go, leaving me in the cloud of dust. I'm all good, go. Just make sure these guys, oh, and they're up behind us. We're all good, we're all tight. It's a tight bunch today. And behind the uh, Yamaha guy here. And we'll just watch out for that truck. And we're around the truck. Watch out for the truck coming the other way. So these, uh, if you weren't paying attention, these roads would be quite treacherous, to be quite honest. And there's the uh, truck for the other guys. Little teaser of concrete road here as we run down to a power station. One of many that the Chinese are building on the Cambodian Thai border which is uh, where we currently are. So there it is. And here we go. And Tony drives off leaving Adam and Mitch trying to start both their bikes. And we're through onto the uh, trail, out through the quarry to the waterfall. Just massive. You can't see it here, but there are actually monkeys down in the water at the time and then they just scattered off into the trees uh, and didn't get any photos of that and Mitch and Adam uh, join us here and we make our way down great waterfall long way down and there's uh, Chewy up there it's got a shirt on this time so we're back on the bikes, uh, heading out to our lunch stop, uh, which was uh, catered and uh, it was a great lunch. Had a couple of extra servings because, uh, as you may have noticed, we didn't have Suzuki guy with us because of his foot, and uh, we didn't even have we didn't have Toby with us. So uh, we had plenty to eat, and it was awesome. Stay tuned for part two.